Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another color and chat. I think we might have one more before Halloween rolls around, but if we do not, this will be our last one. I hope not. We'll aim for one more. But today we are working once again in Belle Pipistrelle, and that may very well be the case for the next color and chat, if there is a next one, because this book is my latest book, and she is so Halloween appropriate. It's disgusting. And now I know I have other books that are quite spooky. Most of my books are spooky themed, but you all know I love bats. Bats are my babies. I have them outside here in the desert. Every single day I get to see them. It is a pleasure. And they just have those spooky connotations, for better or worse. So let's dive right into this. I have already started on the page. I gave myself a little bit of a head start. Not too much, but we are, we are getting going on this. And the inspiration for this one... I want to, I, you know, this is one of those videos where I'm going to come at you with, with, a, with a little, not so much a lesson, but with some words of encouragement, with some, they're going to be a little bit nicer than usual. You know, I'm not going to sit there and tell you, you know, quit being afraid and quit being a crybaby and da 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 Not today. I know I have some crybabies out there and that's okay, honey. I can be a crybaby sometimes too. It's fine. But today... I have a, this is going to be, a, I'm trying to choose my words here. How do I say this? This is going to be a push out of the nest in an easy way for anyone. So if you are someone like me who doesn't necessarily need trial by fire, this is an easy way for you to do something that you may otherwise would not have done. You know, it's just easy, but it's a little, it's a little um, off script, if you will. Today's color palette is primarily greens, blacks, and oranges. Will I be adding more later? Yeah, probably. I will be adding some accent colors. But today's color palette was inspired by yesterday's lunch. Yesterday for lunch, I had a salad. And the label just stuck out to me so much. I know it doesn't look very exciting to you. This label is just... A Greek salad from Trader Joe's, but I was an art history major at one point. I love art history, uh, classical art, skip everything in between until the 50s, 60s, and 80s. So, well, there's Art Deco too. So, classicism, Egyptian artwork, Greek artwork, hop over to the 20s and 30s we love an art deco moment and then skip forward to the 60s 70s and 80s okay so that's that's oh my gosh excuse me i'm being distracted i'm babysitting two dogs right now and one of them is over here one of them is over there i'm just <laughs> anyways those are my favorite periods in history i love greek artwork this reminded me of greek pottery but with a 70s twist so you can see why everything kind of coalesced and meshed together and became in my brain something that I could work with. I love the 70s so we've got the orange, we've got the avocado green, baby I love it. We've got the vaguely reminiscent of Greek pottery figures here, the two colors although on pottery they were just orange and black but you know we, we've got the 70s tossed in for spice and we put in that avocado green and so that's what inspired this. So my tip for today if you're stuck on a color palette, if you don't know what to do, if you think you're one of these people who doesn't know how to pick two colors, if their life depended on it, go grab your favorite snack package. Just anything. Anything that you like to snack on, whether it's lunch, dinner, just, I don't know, a frozen brownie, anything. Go grab something and use the colors on that label as your palette. Now, even though this one is only three colors, I think... Oh, Lord. Okay, so here's the thing. Bentley does bark sometimes, but usually when he hears strangers walking down the hallway, he, he pays it no mind, unless he thinks it's FedEx or UPS, in which case he wants to murder the entire world. But other people, he doesn't care. But we have 
a ward <laughs> for about a week. And she doesn't like anybody. He's like, no, I don't like anybody walking down this hallway. So when she starts barking, it gets him going. Okay. So as I was saying, I, it is likely that I'm going to change or add a couple of the colors. For instance, uh, this orange that I'm using, although on the label it is two, two oranges, one green, and a black, I'm working with Let's see, one orange, green, black, two oranges I'm working with, and a green and a black. And I may add more later. I'm going to try to keep it at a minimum. I'm going to just stick with the lighter orange on the skin. And the reason that I'm doing that is simply because the orange that I was using on the border ended up, surprise, surprise, dying on me. So I had to overlay it with something else, and I don't want to run that risk on the face. I want to have a as smooth a color lay down on the face as possible. So I decided the safest thing to do was just to get a color that was similar to the orange in the background, but a few shades lighter. Now I'm not following this religiously. You don't have to, you can if you'd like, but what I mean by that is that I'm not, if you take a look at the label here, Every part of the face, the hair, the hair accessories, everything is orange. And I'm not going to be doing exactly that. So I'm going to be doing the makeup and the lips different colors, but just general inspiration. You don't have to follow anything exactly as it is on the label. That's just a source of inspiration. So do whatever you'd like, but follow it to a degree. And that will hopefully eliminate any anxieties and any stress and any wasted time that comes along with your having to select colors and testing the colors. I, I didn't do any swatching on this one. I just kind of eyeballed it. <clears throat> I did swatch the one in the background just a little bit, but that's it. So I just kind of pulled blindly. You don't have to do that. Again, you don't have to be a trial by fire individual. I have a tendency to do that sometimes, and it's it's not always the wisest choice, but it's what keeps me entertained, so I do that. You do not have to. I think what I will do, though, is keep the hair in the darker orange color. close to one another if I'm being honest. Well one of them's called deep yellow, the other one's called dark yellow, so yep, they're pretty close. This book is available if you do not already have it and you wish to purchase it. She is available on Amazon as a bound version, as this one is right here, bound. Or if you prefer a printable version, head over to my Etsy shop. All of my books are available as printable versions on my Etsy shop. It's the only place you can find them printable. So if that's what you prefer, if you would like to print the pages out on any paper that you'd like, head on over to the shop and grab the printable. Don't like the book? You don't have to get it. I have a million other books that you can choose from. Or if you simply want to purchase a coloring page, I have a few available in my shop as well. I haven't added any new coloring pages in a long time. I think I might do that next year, perhaps. I'm not sure. Ever since I started a Patreon, all of my line arts, my individual pages, have been going to my patrons. So that's another option for you. If you enjoy coloring and you want exclusive coloring pages, you can join my Patreon. I have one tier that is coloring specific, and that's the one in which you will receive monthly coloring pages. I do have another tier as well if you want to be hands off, if you just want to toss a couple bucks my way, just for the sake of it, you may do so as well. You don't have to be committed to 
reading any posts or participating in anything if you don't want to. You don't even have to get coloring pages if you don't want them. I just have to put all of that information in. I know I've said it before, but every time I mention these things, I'm going to continue mentioning every aspect of it. Just as I always tell people, I have bound versions of my books and printables because not everyone watches all of my videos and not everyone knows. Some people still don't even know that I have an Etsy shop. Crazy. But hey, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. So now what else am I going to talk about? I don't really have much to talk about in terms of techniques and art supplies because I'm not using anything different. In the color and chat video prior to this one, we, oh, speaking of Patreon, that video was, I colored in a Patreon, ex, or on a Patreon exclusive coloring page. That page was only available or is only available during the month of October for my patrons. And for that one, I used supplies that you've seen me use previously. However, I used a color palette that was not something that I've done before. I colored on a colored sheet of cardstock and I used a low contrast limited color palette. So we did do something a little experimental last time. Not kooky, but just a little, a little out there. And I hope that you all enjoyed that. I found it to be an enjoyable page to create. It was a fun technique to use and the colored page it's probably one of the ones that I enjoy the most from my recent crop of coloring pages just because it was so subtle and simple and just beautiful. Just a limited gray and pink color palette. Lovely. And this one is a limited color palette as well, but it's just not soothing and pretty <laughs> like the other one. It's cool though. You know me in my 70s, you all. The avocados, the burnt oranges, yes. In a recent vlog over on Cat Eyes and Cacti, which is my other channel, that is my, well, Cat Eyes and Cacti. <laughs> it's my, it's the brand channel for my brand, Cat Eyes and Cacti. And I take you guys on walks on some of my vlogs, and I took you guys on a walk through a neighborhood that has one of my favorite houses and I posted some photos of what the interior of that house looks like. It's not my favorite house in Palm Springs, but it is one of them. And it has this glorious mid-century interior that's super colorful. I live for a colorful interior. Give me all the greens. Give me all the magentas. Just give it. And give it to me. There's one bit of the 70s in terms of interior design and color palettes that I don't like. And that was a shocker. I know, it's a shock. <gasps> Clutch those pearls. Clutch those pearls. And what I'm referring to is the excessive use of browns and the revival of that kind of, I suppose it could be considered a colonial look of furniture, but it was a revival of that. So it was modern materials in a colonial style, the big, heavy, bulky armoires and dressers and big and heavy, but made with mediocre woods and veneers, horrible, and the color palettes, a lot of browns, dreary browns and tans and sandy beige colors mixed with a lot of uh, texture, just very gritty. It was kind of a, a gritty, rustic aesthetic that, no, not for me, not for me at all. I think it's depressing, it's dark, and it, frankly, it looks dirty. You know, the shag carpet, that's shaggy carpet in like four shades of brown, just, just makes me feel as though I need to take a shower just by looking at it. I don't, I don't enjoy that. My 70s is the funky disco fashionista style. Lots of glitters, lots of lames, lots of shimmer. 
greens, pinks, think Soul Train or uh, Midnight Special. Those two TV shows had a wonderful aesthetic. That's the kind of 70s I like. Mm. I guess the party animal, 70s. marker is dying on me. One of the rare occasions that one of my Prismacolors actually dies. These Prismacolors, man, I'm telling you, I always have the art supplies linked down below that I use on my coloring pages, but when I use one of something, I don't bother to list it. I use the, or I list the supplies that I use the most. So in this instance, I'm using the Cali Art Markers the most, so I will be listing those down below. However, if you have Ohuhu markers, they work just as well, if not better than the Cali Art markers. I honestly, to me, I don't, I can't tell the difference. High end, low end, I've been using markers forever, and what I find is that the the difference in quality typically has absolutely nothing to do with the actual pigment and the alcohol in the marker and it has everything to do with the quality of the marker itself. Prismacolors, they last forever because the caps are brilliant. The caps cap the marker beautifully. No air gets in and dries out the marker. The quality of the brush tip. I, I, you can't go outside and color on asphalt. You know, you will destroy the tip. But the quality of the fiber, or I don't know what this is, nylon, I have, no, I have no idea, but it's great quality and they're just wonderful markers and they're expensive. Same with the Copics. Copics, same quality as Prismacolor markers, but more aesthetically pleasing and they are refillable, so that comes with the cost. But I've been perfectly happy with the Ohuhu set that I purchased lately. Some of the markers are a little bit dry, I will say that, but that's nothing that a little alcohol bath wouldn't fix. So. The Ohuhus are great. The Cali Art Markers that I've had for freaking ages are so cheap and they're still going strong. I've killed a lot of them. I've used them up, um, completely dried up. And the pigment load in those is not that great, but they, for the price, wonderful. And the Ohuhus, just as good. They're everything, they're fine. So don't feel that you need to have the most expensive markers on the market, that's not the case. An alcohol marker is an alcohol marker is an alcohol marker. Anything will work fine. If you can afford the nicer stuff, get the nicer stuff. If you can't, using the cheaper stuff isn't gonna kill your artwork at all, at all. Okay, her hair, should we just go ahead and, I was gonna do like a green kind of accent in the hair, um, but I think we're gonna nix that because I would rather do the bat wings in green, her little bat wing hair accessories. I don't know what they are, little barrettes, clip-ins, just little bat wings. Oh, and you know we're gonna put gold on this. We're gonna put gold glitter on this. I might make these skulls into gold Ralphs. If you don't know what Ralph is, I have a couple new people on this channel. Eventually you will learn who Ralph is. Ralph is my resident buddy. He's my golden skull. Here, I'll grab him for you. He's, he is within reach, actually. <laughs> this guy. This guy right here. We have some interesting conversations about Everything from art to life, and he's just, he makes appearances in my artwork frequently. If you don't know Ralph yet, oh, you will know the Ralph eventually. Just give it some time, give it some time. Speaking of Ralph, I should restock the Ralph stickers in the shop, shouldn't I? For ages, I had miniature Ralph stickers available in the shop. They sold out. I never brought them back. I should bring them back.
So the border of this has a very thin line of that citron kind of bright green color, but this is where we're gonna start to deviate a little bit more. We've already deviated a little bit, you know, by adding green on whatever. We have deviated. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, just do it. But I'm going to be introducing this bright uh, neon yellow. I've used this color before, I love it. It's the one of the neon moonlight pens, which you know I love. You know I love my moonlights. So we're gonna put that on the border and I'm also going to muck up the border a little bit by messing it up. Well, I said mucking it up, right? So we are going to destroy the border a little bit. And then I'm going to be adding yellow accents. Well, I'll give you an idea of what I'm doing here. So I'm going to be adding that thin line all the way around the border and then some extra line work and then I will check in with you. My camera is cutting me off, which means my memory card is filling up. So what I'm going to do, sorry, we're gonna have to cut this one a little bit short. I mean, this video, all of my color and chats are pretty, pretty short-ish, anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, but all I'm going to be doing is adding some accents with the yellow throughout the entire piece and then some gold. So all I'm going to be doing is exactly what you see here, just monochromatic highlights. And I'm going to do that everywhere. So anywhere that there is this chartreuse color, it's gonna be getting the highlight treatment. And then when we do the gold, I'll check in and let you know how I'm handling the gold. So just like that. And I'm, again, I'm gonna do it everywhere, but just so that you can kinda get a feel for how this is gonna go. Down on the ruffles, we'll just go around like so. No real rhyme or reason. You can follow <clears throat> the line work that is already here. Add your own, do whatever you want. I just want to, as I'm doing this, reiterate to everyone that this isn't at all an educational channel. I am not here to teach anyone any techniques. I'm here to show you techniques and if you are interested in trying them, you can try them. But what I'm here to do is to encourage you to try new things and to teach yourself new things. Um, I, I suppose it's my own fault for not making that clear from the start because every once in a while I will receive comments from people who say, hey, 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 you know, can you not cut your videos out? Can you take us step by step through every single process? And no, that's not what this is about at all. I think I show you guys enough that will give you that push to try things out for yourself. You know, get in there, get dirty, make a mess. But I'm trying to, at least when you are coloring in my books and when you are on my little planet over here, I'm trying to break those habits that people develop by being taught what to do and how to do it. And I'm here to be your release from that. And I never want to be an instructional channel ever at all. That's never gonna be the thing. So you will never find step-by-step -step videos. As I said, most of what I do is on camera anyway. So you can, if you watch a few of my videos, you'll you'll get a good grip on how I do things and then you can go on and experiment for yourself and play around and do what works for you. But there are plenty of instructional videos out on YouTube, plenty. There's only one of me and that's how I intend to keep things. I don't want to be a teacher. I don't want to, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to create a lot of little robots, little coloring robots who do the same thing over and over. They simply replicate techniques over and over. No, 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 no. I want you guys to get messy. That's the whole point. I developed my style by making messes constantly and I still am. This is why I think it baffles people that I can remain so unbelievably passionate about art and illustration 
above all else above all else if i never speak to another human being physically i will be just fine working on artwork keeping myself company with my art because i am constantly playing constantly playing constantly learning constantly failing and that's what keeps things exciting if i go out somewhere it pulls me away from this playtime that i have and that's what you got to do if you want to keep things interesting if you want to remain interested in coloring you have to start if you are a creature of habit someone who enjoys working by the book but then you find yourself getting disillusioned thinking you know why does everything i look create the same why does it feel the same nothing's exciting to me baby come to my channel this is what i'm here for i'm here to make you think a little bit to make you i'm here to make you think about not thinking so much does that make sense all right, I'm going to continue with all of this, and once again, I will check in with you when the yellow highlights are done and we when we are ready for the gold. The gold. All right, so we are creeping up towards the end here, and I had initially thought that I wanted to put some gold on here, some gold Ralphs, and I think that plan is going to change as of this moment. Many hours have passed, it is now nighttime, and my mind is just in another place. So that's cool, I suppose. Let's just go ahead and try something else out. So I grabbed a gel pen that you've, I don't think ever seen me use on this channel. It is a metallic jelly roll in this funky bronze color which now that I'm looking at it probably won't work but I also grabbed a jelly roll in orange that I've had forever and I well the bronze doesn't look so bad so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna use the bronze on the hair as a highlight this metallic bronze and then we'll use the orange on the skin because I'm not sure how well it's coming across on camera but the hair is definitely a different color than the skin not too noticeable on camera, I'm sure, but I promise you it is a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is just add a few areas of this bronze. It is such a disgusting color. It is ugly. It is, it's just an ugly gel pen. I can't think of a reason why anybody would want to use this gel pen. I mean, it's, I mean, unless you, no, I take it back. There, okay, if you're working on something that's vintage and antique looking, okay. I, I can see the purpose for it, but it's just hideous. And now that I'm laying it down, I'm deeply regretting it because it is quite an ugly color. And what it's doing now is that it's bringing more emphasis that I wanted onto the hair. And this is just supposed to be an accent and it's making me notice it even more, uh, which is not cool. So what I'm going to do is keep this to a minimum just in a few areas and uh ooh that is really ugly um it figures because i was liking this page up until this point this happens sometimes i like something and then last minute impulsive decisions destroy the outcome of the page and that is totally fine you guys it's just a coloring book don't obsess and cry over something if you ruin it my coloring books always have 25 pages at a minimum. So if you screw up five pages, screw up. I use that term loosely because what I've learned is what I like, some people, most people do not like, and what I despise, most people end up liking. It's very bizarre. Even my own audience, we never agree on anything, which is, it's great. You know, I love that. But some of my favorite pieces and favorite videos, favorite pages, people, they don't like them. They don't watch, they don't enjoy. It's just one of those things. And that's cool. I mean, it, it, that speaks to the relationship that I have with my audience is that I don't even know why they're into me, okay? Because we have very different tastes. Clearly, what I, like I said, the pieces that I like, the artwork that I like that is my favorite, the least loved, right? The coloring pages that I absolutely loathe are the most loved. So there, there's an interesting dynamic between me and my audience, which I appreciate it. Some people might be saying, oh no, that's terrible to hear that, you know, you and your audience no agree. No, 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 no. Don't, did I say no agree? <laughs> that you and your audience do not agree, I should say. But really, you have to think about it this way. That means that my channel will hopefully never be predictable content in that 
I will always be uploading art videos, vlogs, and coloring videos, but the content, the artwork that I'm producing, I will never fall into a rut of subconsciously wanting to create something that I know my audience is going to gravitate towards, right? Gravitate to, towards, what? Jesus, excuse that sentence was awkward. It's late. I said it was late. Late and look what I'm drinking. Coffee. Nearing midnight. I don't know why I do this to myself. I don't do it consistently, thank goodness. But every once in a while, coffee late at night because, you know, foolish behavior sometimes. But the point is, is that I won't find myself getting bored with the artwork that I'm making because I'm not creating artwork that specifically caters to a specific type of audience. Now, on the flip side, that means that my channel is not going to grow as large and as quickly as other channels because I'm just not producing accessible, um, easily acceptable artwork, if that makes any sense. So I appreciate everyone for being here. Whatever you like about my channel, whether it's my personality, my the coloring, the illustration, whatever it is that you're here for, thank you so much because we've, we've got something special here, you and I. I don't know what it is, but, but we've got something. And that means a lot. <sighs> trying to talk myself off the ledge here because I am hating this bronze color. It doesn't look as bad once it dries. It's actually not looking as terrible as I initially thought it would. But let's go ahead and pull it out a little bit into this black void. This is really an ugly color. I know. Waste not, want not. Supposedly, that's what they say. So I'm going to use it all. And hey, you know, there's a thought. There's a thought for the future. Maybe I should work on a page that is in vintagey, antique tones, you know, sepias, browns, tans, beiges. Maybe we should do that. There's something to think about. That wouldn't be a bad idea. And that's the good thing about my artwork, too, is I hope I don't sound as though I'm tooting my own horn, but sometimes when it's warranted, baby, you got to toot your own horn. So my artwork is such that it can adopt any theme that you want. And what I mean by that is if you are wanting this little girl, for instance, well, she's not a little girl, but you know what I'm saying. Um, this girl, if you wanted to take this into a Christmas, vampire Christmas, you could do that. Vampire Easter, you could do that. It's They're very adaptable, the illustrations. So you can make them work for you however you'd like. Pastel and cute dark, gothic, whatever you'd like. Or entirely nondescript, <laughs> like this one, who was inspired by a friggin' salad label. That's one thing I'm thankful for. As much as my energy can be a bit manic sometimes and just a bit much, <laughs> I never get bored. I find inspiration literally everywhere I look and on everything, and for that I am thankful. We are going to use this glittery orange instead of a gold. This ended up inadvertently becoming quite a Halloweeny page, doesn't she? She's kind of she's kind of pumpkiny. She's pumpkin colored, I suppose. 
I wasn't planning on it taking that direction, but I guess all of the oranges are pumpkin-esque. And that green, you know, the stem, the vines, we did the thing. We did an autumn page on accident, and I'm here for it. Okay, my coloristas, we are done with this page. She's complete, and I think she turned out cute. Is she one of my favorite pages? No. Do I hate it? Absolutely not. I think she's very, very cute. Not a favorite, but I don't dislike it. So, hey, there's that. That's always a positive. Let me know down below if you are going to try your hand at this whole inspiration from a food label. Let me know. Let me know. I promise you, if you are in a rut, go through your cabinets, go through your refrigerator, whatever it is, your favorite snack, your favorite drink, pull colors from the label, and get to work. The result might surprise you. This was enjoyable. It was fairly simple, at least much simpler than most of my pages. You can see I refrained from adding too much flourish to it at the end. But that's all you need to know. And that being said, everything you do need to know will be down below. Links to where you can purchase the book, links to where you can find me online, links and or the names of the supplies used here will be listed. You are not obligated to purchase anything from the internet, especially from Amazon. You feel free to shop at brick and mortar stores in your town or wherever you choose. None of the supplies, or at least I don't think any of them that I use today are going to be Amazon exclusive supplies. So they're available all over the place. That being said, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Happy hashtag Carloween, and I will see you in the next one.